In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue, so that I may know how to reply to the wearied. He provides me with speech. Each morning, He wakes me to hear, to listen like a disciple. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance, neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore at my beard. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help, so that I am untouched by the insults. So, too, I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be shamed. My vindicator is here at hand. Does anyone start proceedings against me? Then let us go to court together. Who thinks he has a case against me? Let him approach me. The Lord is coming to my help. Who will dare to condemn me? The Word of the Lord In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayers for your favour. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayers for your favour. Taunts have broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I looked in vain for compassion. For consolers, not one could I find. For food, they gave me poison. In my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayers for your favour. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify Him with thanksgiving. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God's seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy, and does not spurn his servants in their chains. In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayers for your favour. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. Hail to you, our King! Obedient to the Father, you were led to your crucifixion, as a meek lamb is led to the slaughter. Glory to you, O Christ, You are the Word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, the man called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you prepared to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty silver pieces. And from that moment, he looked for an opportunity to betray him. Now, on the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus to say, Where do you want us to make preparation for you to eat the Passover? Go to so and so in the city, he replied, and say to him, The master says, My time is near. It is at your house that I am keeping Passover with my disciples. The disciples did what Jesus told them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, 
he was at the table with the twelve disciples. And while they were eating, he said, I tell you solemnly, one of you is about to betray me. They were greatly distressed and started asking him in turn, Not I, Lord, surely? He answered, Someone who has dipped his hand into the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man is going to his fate. As the scripture says, he will. But alas for that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Better for that man if he had never been born. Judas, who was to betray him as in his turn, not I, Rabbi, surely. There are your own words, answered Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, perhaps many of us may have the experience somewhat like Judas at different points in our lives. There are times when something happens and we obviously make a mistake, but we hide the mistake and say, it is not me. If something happens at home, parents already know who did what, but they will still ask who did it and hope the children will acknowledge and learn from their mistake. In today's Gospel reading, when Judas said, Not I, Rabbi, surely. And what did Jesus reply? They are your own words, answered Jesus. They are your own words words. So as we are approaching Tridum, tomorrow to be exact, let us be honest with ourselves in reflecting and keep track how have we been doing since day one. Are we being faithful to our promises to God? Well, if we are not doing well, it's okay then. No justification needed. Although this may sound like excuse, but truly, I believe God our Father understands us too, our shortcoming and weaknesses. But the most important thing is that we try again and again to be with God in our everyday life. St. Bonaventure names the struggle for inner peace or the building up of the right or the desire by God within our souls as an ongoing challenge. As we prepare ourselves for Tridum, we thank God for our lengthened journey we made. We may have suffered more or achieved our goals, experienced success, and realized many other things that one can name. I pray that today, be one of a meaningful one where we spend time with Jesus through walking in silence, prayer, reading, meditation, and other activities. For we will be sharing a meal with Him tomorrow. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. And thou us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.